Hello and welcome to gaming and welcome to my eFootball version 1 gameplay video reaction. So following the announcement yesterday for eFootball releasing on April 14th, we have already started to see some gameplay footage drop. A few publications got their hands on with a pre-launch version of version 1 of eFootball and here is the gameplay that was shown. So I thought I would give my opinion on what we see. Of course I can't give my full opinions until I get my hands on the game but from what we saw in these videos I'd like to say a few things. Firstly, the game does look faster. This was one thing that was complained about quite a lot in the community, that the game was too slow and that players were very sluggish. It does seem like the speed has increased in the general play, so I think this will please most of the eFootball community. Secondly, the defending does show the pressure call being added, but I think this is something that without actually playing the game, we're not gonna really know how it feels ourselves. You do see it in effect, but I think this is definitely something that we need to get our hands on ourselves. And of course, we only have to wait seven more days for that. One big thing that I did notice was that the crossing in the gameplay looks really good. I didn't really use the crossing much in the previous version of eFootball because it never seemed to really work. But judging from this gameplay, it looks really good. And it looks like crossing will be a big feature of the gameplay. You actually see a few goals scored from crosses during some of the footage. You also get to see the shot modifier, the stunning shot as Konami have labeled it. So for the stunning shot, apparently you use R2 when you hit the ball and it changes the power bar kind of like a purpley blue. This gives the player a power modified shot. Now, of course you do lose some accuracy when applying this variant on the shooting. There's also gonna be the stunning pass as we mentioned yesterday, but again, it'll be something to definitely try out when the game launches. So if you haven't seen this gameplay, there is an English version, a hands-on gameplay with a VGC, which is about five minutes long, and he talks you through specifically what he tried. I'll link it in the description box below. There's also a full match uh, from IGN Japan if you wanna see a full version of a game. So I'll link that below as well. My final thoughts are that this does look like an improvement from what we got to play previously, but still after two years of development, I'm not sure if this is really what I was expecting from eFootball. It feels so different to the PES games that we got in the last few years. Many people were really happy with PES in the last couple of years. Many people weren't. Uh, I guess it's one of those things where you can't really please everyone, but I'm definitely looking forward to giving this a go in seven days next week we will get our hands on and i will do a video right here on welcome to gaming so make sure to come and check that out maybe subscribe and you won't miss that video those are my thoughts on the eFootball gameplay that we've seen today what do you think let me know in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one